2, you are told three over square root of five subtract one and two and two and two we have four over 6 minus 6 minus square root of 5. Here it will be a bit different. There is something they call a conjugate sad. You look for a conjugate to make sure that you don't remain with a sad here. You'll use a conjugate sad. You look for the conjugate and before you look at that, huh? if you have, so you realize A minus square root of D is the conjugate sad, huh? conjugate sad of A plus square root of B. So in this case, huh? When you rationalize using that, you multiply the denominator and numerator by the conjugate side of the denominator. So to rationalize here, you have to multiply the numerator and denominator. So to rationalize, to rationalize, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate sad, by the conjugate sad. You love to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate side of the denominator. You'll have to multiply by that conjugate side. So, in the solutions, in our solutions, this is what we are going to get in one, one, three, square root of five, Minus one. And since I've told you this is what you multiply the numerator and the denominator, you'll come and say three square root of five plus one. The conjugate sad of the denominator. The conjugate sad of the denominator is multiplied by the both the numerator and the denominator. So how does that work? You open the brackets. Then here you come, open the brackets, square root of 5 times square root of 5, you'll have square root of 5 times square root of 5 minus plus square root of 5. minus square root of 5 plus 1. Let's look at what will happen. This square root of 5 cancels with that square root of 5. Square root of 5 times 5 is square root of 25. So this will work to 3 square root of 5 plus 3 over square root of 25 plus 1. So learn now, how does that come, uh, what does that come to square root of 25 is 5? So it will be square root of 3, 3 square root of 5 plus 3 over 5 plus 1. Over 5 plus 1. It works to 
3 square root of 5 plus 1 over 6. That is the simplified form by, by rationalizing the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate side of the denominator. So first of all, you get the conjugate side. Then you multiply it by both the numerator and denominator. That is rationalizing using what? Using the conjugate sad, or we simply say rationalizing the denominator. We shall look at the second example where we have 4. We shall come to 2. Number 2. You are given 4 over 6 minus square root of 5. The first thing is to get the conjugate side of this. The conjugate, the conjugate side of the denominator is of 6 subtract square root of 5 is 6 plus square root of 5. So it'll go straight to multiplying by each. So this will come to 4 into 6 square root of 5 over, when you do this, you are rationalizing, eh? over 6 minus square root of 5 into 6 plus square root of 5. So you simplify. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times square root of 5 is 4 square root of 5. We come down. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 6 is 36. And then we have 6 square root of 5 minus 6 square root of 5 plus 6 square root of 5, you start with plus, then minus 6 square root of 5. Then you finish up with the square root of 5. Square root of 5 times square root of 5. Let's simplify. The denominator remains the same. 24 plus 4 square root of 5 over this and this cancel plus 36 minus square root of 25. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. So you'll have 24 plus lana 4 square root of 5 over 36 minus 5. 36 minus 5. This will work to 24 plus 4 square root of 5 lana over uh, 31. That gives us our answer. That gives us our answer. So in such a case, you look for the conjugate side of the denominator and multiply it both by the numerator and the denominator. So having done that, huh? having done that, it will be time for an assignment. So before I go to the assignment, know what a conjugate sad looks like. The sign changes there. If it was positive, it becomes negative. A minus B is the conjugate sad of A plus square root of B. So, Lana, that was the assignment, rationalize the denominator. You saw how we went about. Uh, so, A, 1 over square root of 2, B, 
square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 7, C, 1 over square root of 3 plus 1, D, square root of 2, square root of 2 over square root of 11 plus 4 square root of 10. So here you need a conjugate sad. In these two you need a conjugate sad. These ones you multiply, just multiply this by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Multiply here, square root of 7, square root of 7. But in these two you need the conjugate sad. So thank you very much for the audience.